Hey Fit Freedom fam, welcome to day one of your seven day total body tone up. Today we're gonna lay the foundation by strengthening our core with the total body Pilates workout. This workout's only 20 minutes, so grab a mat, grab some water, and let's get started. Today's workout is going to focus on strengthening our deep transverse abdominal muscles, which will strengthen our core and help to prevent injury. So we'll go ahead and begin seated with a nice C-curve series. Let's go ahead and inhale, sit tall, lengthen through the spine, and as we exhale, contract the core around the spine and come into a beautiful C-curve. Great, immediately you feel those abdominals activate. Go ahead and reach your arms along and strong, shoulders back. Let's take a nice exhale to crunch and inhale to lower. So you wanna stay in your challenge zone here, stay nice and deep, and think of hollowing out, scooping those deep transverse abdominals as you knit those ribs together. Let's do two more. We exhale, lift shoulders to the knees. And last one, lower down, stay in the challenge zone, twist side to side, so reach and twist. So nice Russian twist here. Working deep into our obliques for a challenge, get a little lower, eight more. Beautiful, it's four, three, two, back to center. Now we extend the right leg long and strong. Let's take a crunch and reach. Exhale, crunch and reach. Good, just four of these and then we'll add a twist. So elbow to opposite knee for four. Deep crunch, exhale and inhale. Beautiful, two more right here. Get nice and deep and switch to the left. Four crunches, exhale and inhale. Breathe. Good, now elbow to the opposite knee, crunch twist for four. Good, last two. And one, very nice. Inhale, sit nice and tall. Next exercise, rolling like a ball. So go ahead and place your hands gently on the outside of your ankles, bring your heels towards the glutes and hover the toes off the mat. So the this takes a lot of core control right here. We're gonna round the spine and roll just to our shoulder blades. Come on up and find your balance. The trick is not to let the toes touch. Ready? Inhale, roll it back. And exhale, roll it up. Beautiful, two more. And last one, inhale, roll it up. Exhale, hold at the top. From here, take the hands to the inside of the arches. Go ahead and extend the left leg, lift the heart and chest. Beautiful posture, switch it right. Extend, lift. Breathe and hold, bring both legs center and extend both legs long and strong. Lift the heart, lift the chest and breathe and bring everything back in. Beautiful, extend those legs forward. Let's take a nice deep breath as we round forward and then deepen the abs, glide the shoulders back and roll back for three, two, big breath at the bottom and exhale up for four, three, two, you reach for the toes here. Remember, don't let momentum bring you up. It's pure strength and control. And if you need to modify, you can always go ahead and bend the knees right here. So exhale, lift four, three, two, reach for the toes. Inhale, round it back. Nice, smooth, controlled movement. Two more, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, four, three, glide those shoulders back. Last one right here, we roll it up. Reach for the toes and back for four. Three, now two counts up this time. Lift the right knee, lift, hold. Lower with control to the left, hold. Beautiful, four more right here. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Awesome job, guys. Two more, you've got this. How's that core feeling? Hope it's catching fire here. And last one for a challenge, lift both knees up and hold. Breathe, shoulders back. Remember, posture is key. Chest lifted, knees to chest. Let's take a little pulses here for four, three, two, and one. Now roll back nice and slow, head and toe touch together. Beautiful work. Go ahead and hug the knees in towards the chest and gently roll the knees around to the right and around to the left. Go ahead and plant those feet, heels towards the glutes for a nice bridge series. So we're gonna wake up that posterior chain today. You want to deepen the abs and curl the tailbone, lift the hips and slowly lower down. So the key is spinal articulation here and nice core control. So four counts up. Nice squeeze at the top and down for four, three, two, beautiful. So keep that going here. You want to deepen the abs and knit the ribs together and wrap those glutes together. 
Beautiful, focus on spinal articulation, peeling one vertebra at a time off the mat. Let's do two more. All right, let's do some single counts. We exhale, lift, inhale, lower. You wanna keep that pelvis nice and level here. It's a compound ab glute series, so feel that deep core connection. Four more, we lift and lower. Nice energy, use that breath. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now hold it at the top and pulse for eight, seven. Engage those glutes, wrap them together, four more. From here, let's lift those heels up for eight. Nice lift and lower, beautiful. Don't let that booty drop, keep it lifted, keep those hips level. Four more right here, high heels up and down. Good, last two. Now hold those heels up and lower and lift those hips for eight. And up, breathe, let's inhale and exhale. Awesome job, four more here. Good, last two. Hold those hips up, let's alternate right and left. So right glute, left glute. Isolate those glutes here. Nice strong lift. Beautiful, four more. Good, last two. And back to center, lift it up, slowly roll the spine down, give yourself a nice well-deserved hug and circle the knees around to the right and to the left. Awesome work, bring the arms in a T position, allow both knees to drop gently to the right as you look over the left shoulder and use your obliques to bring the knees back to center. Go ahead and switch and breathe. And bring it back to center. Now time for our ab series. All right, so bring your legs into tabletop. We'll go ahead and curl on up. Reach the arms long and strong. Pump for the 100 deep breaths. So it's inhale two, three, four, and exhale two, three. Beautiful. Now with this movement, you want to maintain a nice neutral spine. Do not allow the back to compensate here. Also, as we lift, think of lifting from the midline and the upper abs rather than the neck. You want to keep the neck fully relaxed. You can keep it right here or for a challenge, legs up to 90 or down to 45. Keep breathing. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale. It's called the 100 for a reason. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale. Two more sets. Beautiful work. Draw the abs deeply. Pump with vigor. Last set. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale. Single leg stretch. So we reach and switch. Good. We're going to light those abs on fire here. Keep breathing. Nice. Four more. We're going to go straight through the ab series. Are you ready? Double leg stretch. Exhale it in. Inhale, reach out. Good. It's exhale it in. Inhale, reach out. Beautiful. So really draw the abs in deeply and lengthen nice and strong. Four more right here. We exhale, curl up an inch higher. Inhale, reach an inch longer. Awesome job. Last two work. Last one, extend here. Let's lift and lower the legs. Two counts to lift and lengthen to lower with control. You have a few options. You're welcome to stay lifted for a challenge. For a modification, you can rest the head and even support the lower back here. So take whatever your body needs today. Four more right here. We lift, lift, lower with control. Good, continue to breathe deep. Last one right here, lift those legs up, right into scissor switch. So hands to the calves and reach and switch. Beautiful, so it's all about strength and control through the core and length through those legs. Eight more. Good, last four. Now right into our crisscross, finish strong. So we criss cross, think shoulder to opposite knee. You're doing awesome, feel that burn. Four more right here, how are your abs feeling? Mine are on fire, last four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a hug, breathe, and gently roll those knees to the right and roll to the left. Awesome job, let's roll onto our sides, fire up by lateral chain. So knees aligned with the hips, shoulders stacked for clamshells, lift and lower. Good, so we're working our external rotation here, working our gluteus medius and all of those lateral muscles, which is so important. 
Let's turn that into elevated clams. Lift those toes up for eight and down. You guys are doing so awesome, so proud of you. Day one, super strong. You've got this, four more. You're gonna be feeling fabulous in a week. Good, let's hold it at the top and pulse it here for eight. 70 up to the sky. Beautiful, four, three. I like to call this one the Jane Fonda or Can Can, whatever you like. Extend and lower. So we lower, lift, extend, and in. Beautiful. Four more, nice here. Work that external rotation. You've got this. Last two. And last one, very nice. Extend the legs, go ahead and rest the head. Bring the legs to the front corner of your mat and externally rotate the top legs, Devlapes. Point the toe as we bend, extend, and then flex, engage those glutes to lower. It's a lovely long ballerina legs to start our week strong. Point to lift, extend, flex, lengthen to lower. Let's do four more. Awesome job, guys. Beautiful, two more before we reverse that motion. Good, go ahead and reverse. So we flex to lift, point the toe, bend the knee, and extend. You immediately feel those abs, you immediately feel those glutes activate, those abs deepen. Awesome job, let's do four more here. Beautiful, last two. And on this last one, ball of toe right above the knee, inner thigh lifts right here. So you feel that deep connection from the inner thighs through the psoas and the lower abs. Let's do four more. Good, now hold it at the top, little U shape. So down to the right, down to the left. Good, eight more. Simply plant that top foot and make an inner thigh circle so it's up and around, up and around, and burn out those inner thighs. Really lift and lengthen here. We are strengthening those deep transverse muscles reverse. Good, last four, three, two, and one. Carefully release that, grab the inside of your foot and come to a beautiful, nice stretch here and breathe. And then from this position, I hope I don't fall into the water, go ahead and roll onto your back and take a nice hamstring stretch here. Just gently breathe, nose to the knee if that feels good for you. Beautiful work, go ahead and place the hand to the arch of the foot, opposite hand towards the hip as we open out the inner thighs. And carefully bring that leg back to center. Place the left hand to the right knee. Twist to the left, look to the right. And breathe right here. Carefully bring it back to center. Right ankle to the left knee. Hug it in for a nice figure four. And let's carefully rock it up. Spin it around, other side. All right, so coming onto our sides, go ahead and align the knees towards the hips. And we'll start off with those clamshells. Lift and lower. So work that external rotation just as strong, or if not stronger, as you did on the first side. Four more. Beautiful, go ahead and elevate the toes. Eight more here, we lift and lower. Good, really fire up those glutes here. Four more. Going so strong, remember to keep the posture lifted, shoulders back. Let's hold it up and pulse it here for eight. Seven, work deep into those glutes. Good, let's do eight more. Awesome job, let's bring it into that Jane Fonda can-can. So we lower, lift, extend, and bend. Beautiful, really lengthen and strengthen that top leg. Four more. Beautiful, last two. And last one, go ahead and extend both legs along and strong. 
and bring those legs to the front corner of the mat externally rotate that top leg and start with your nice devla pace so we bend extend and lengthen to lower good four more Nice, reverse that movement. So we flex to lift, point the toe, bend the knee, and extend eight times, creating those long, lean ballerina lines. Four more. Beautiful, last two. Go ahead and place the ball of the toe on the right inner thigh for inner thigh lifts. Eight right here, zip up through the core, make it nice and strong. Beautiful, four more. Now hold at the top, little U shape. Take it down to the right, down to the left. Awesome job, it's four. Three, now plant that top toe and bring it to inner thigh circles, up and around. Lift, lift. Good, imagine you've got a ball of fire under that toe, don't get burnt, keep that leg up, reverse. Beautiful, last four. Three, burn it out, two and one. Grab that left foot, bring it into a beautiful stretch here. And again, without falling into the water, water. go ahead and roll onto your back. Take a nice deep hamstring stretch here and breathe it out. Good, go ahead and place that left hand to the arch of the foot, open to the side and breathe. And bring it back to center, right hand to the left knee, twist to the right, look to the left. Bring it back to center, left ankle to the right knee and take a nice stretch here, breathe. And carefully release. Go ahead and rock and roll up to seated. All right, so we're gonna lie on our stomach, work our postural muscles with some swimming exercises. So go ahead and rest the forehead on the back of the palms, scoop the abdominals up off the mat and glide the shoulders back. From here, we're simply gonna lift the upper body four times, gliding the shoulders down the back. Good, from here, let's add in the lower body. So engage those glutes. Lift everything long and strong. Don't forget about the core. Four more. Good, from here, hold it all the way up. Extend the arms and, arms and legs long and strong and go ahead and take it for a swim. So alternate right, left, right, left. Good, swim it out, shoulders back, abs lifted. Beautiful work, four more right here. And from here, keep those legs lifted as you glide the shoulders back and lengthen with control. Eight of these, glide the shoulders back and lengthen with control. Good, lengthen the neck long and strong here. You're doing awesome, four more. Good, last two. Glide those shoulder blades together. Last one, hold, breathe, lengthen and bring it into child's pose. Awesome work right here. We have got one more exercise before we go ahead and stretch it out. So come on to all fours, glide the shoulders back, draw the abs in, extend the right leg long and strong, lift and lower up for eight and down. So again, feel that deep core connection. That's why we laid the foundation here. Four more, you really wanna lengthen that leg nice and strong. Remember, it's about length, not how high we can kick the leg. Four more, abs stay lifted to protect the lower back. Awesome job, let's go ahead and cross that leg over the midline. So we cross and lift, cross and lift, engaging the inner thighs and glutes here while deepening those abs, so much working, four more. Awesome job, last two. Now hold it back, little circles down and around, lift eight, seven, really engage the glutes here, four more. And reverse those circles down and around. Awesome, flex the foot for hamstring curls. Resist it in, lengthen out. Resist and reach. So good, four more. 
Good, now hold heel to glute, lower and lift that shape, down for eight, and up, really deep in those abs here, it's so good. Work into those glutes for more. Nice job, hold it up, eight little pulses here, then we're done, lift eight, seven, squeeze tighter, lift an inch, four, three, two, and release. Go ahead and child's pose it back. Awesome job, come back to all fours, other side, left leg long and strong, eight counts up, we lift and lower, keep those hips nice and square, facing the mat. Shoulders square as well, four more, really lengthen that leg. Awesome job, hold it up, let's cross it over the midline, so we cross and lift eight times, work the inner thighs and the glutes. Great work, so proud of you guys, three more. Nice, now hold it up, eight circles, up and around, lift eight, seven, draw those abs an inch, lengthen the leg an inch, and reverse for eight, it's down and around. Nice, last four. Now flex the foot, hamstring curls, resist it in, lengthen out. Good, four more right here, draw the abs in an inch, glide the shoulders down an inch, so close to completing our day one workout. You guys are amazing. Hold that leg in, lower and lift. It's eight, seven, beautiful. Four more, heel towards the glutes. Really engage those glutes here. Last two. Now hold it up, last set of pulses. Lift for eight, seven, burn it out. So strong for four, three, two, and one. Child's pose, stretch it back. Go ahead and curl the tailbone around the spine up. Beautiful job. We'll bring the right leg forward. Bring it into a beautiful lunge. Lift the heart and chest and breathe. Engage the glutes, square the hips. And go ahead and press back into a very nice hamstring stretch. Square the hips, glide the shoulders and nose towards the knee. Very nice. Carefully come up out of that and pigeon the front leg. Come into a nice pigeon stretch and gently melt the body forward. Just breathe it out here. Carefully come on up, right into the other side. Left leg forward, breathe into that nice deep lunge. You should feel so good on the hip flexor right here. And then press back into a beautiful hamstring stretch. Glide the shoulders back, breathe. Enjoy that stretch. Awesome job, go ahead and pigeon the leg. And come into a nice pigeon stretch and breathe. Very nice, go ahead and carefully come on up. Let's all meet in a butterfly position. Reach the right arm up to the left, take a beautiful side bend. Sweep it around to the center and over to the left. And other side, take a nice deep side bend, breathe, sweep it around and up. And one, and one last deep breath, inhale up, exhale out. So proud of you for completing day one of your seven day tone up challenge. You guys did amazing. Rest up and I can't wait to see you in day two. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>